Cool. Okay. Hi, peeps. This is Ariel Grace from A Gang of Girls Radio. And uh, we're doing Facebook Live videos for the summer because it's a thing to do and it's fun and it's different. And um, we've been doing them. They're all on A Gang of Girls Radio Facebook page. So you can check them out there. Last week we were talking about spirit guides and angels and how we can connect to them. You know, different ideas, run past you, see if you used them. Did ya? <laughs> well, you never know what could happen when you do practice connecting to your guides and angels. You really never know. Um, you never know the great messages that you might receive. And sometimes they're messages that, like, you're going, wait a second, that's not even what I was thinking about. But, you know, they're always right on it. They know exactly what you need, when you need it, and how you need it. So, um, tonight we're going to be doing, um, we're going to talk about the automatic writing meditation. And we're also going to do the automatic writing meditation. Um... A lot of people have questions about the automatic writing meditation and um, where it came from and all that other good stuff. So where it came from was um, a long time ago <laughs> in a wonderful land named Virginia. Um, I thought of this great way to connect to your spirit guides and angels. I was actually inspired and I was inspired by my crew. Yeah, um, and they were like helping me with some other people that were also learning how to trans channel. Okay, so um, with this meditation, the automatic writing meditation, what it does is it helps with you feeling your own energy because you need to know how your energy feels. Before you can accept guidance from anyone else, you know, you need to know what you feel like by yourself alone. So we create a ring and the ring is around you and the ring is like a protection ring. And so it assists you with understanding and feeling your own energy. So you know what you feel like without any other influences. And then after that, what happens is you're able to connect with and bring into the ring one spirit guide or one angel. And usually they're your spokespersons. You know, they're the spirit guide or angel that you hear the most from. Like, for example, I hear the most from Hope, the Archaea Hope. She's my spokesperson. She talks a lot. She's always got great ideas. And she assists me through a lot. She helps me um step back and see the situation in a bigger picture so that I can achieve my own goals here on planet earth right <laughs> so um so with that being said a lot of times you'll hear from your spokesperson you know whoever that is you know um so as you're like connecting to and getting to know your spirit guides and angels, because you really should get to know your spirit guides and angels. You should know how, what they feel like or sound like or look like, you know, like that. So that you know that you're getting that information for your higher and better good. Okay. So and that's the, and the automatic writing meditation assists you with connecting and it assists you with um, getting to know your spirit guides and angels and like their themes, you know, like what their focus is for you. Right? Okay. So um, anyway, I'm going to run off my little spiel here and then we're going to get more into like spirit guides and angels and the automatic writing meditation. So for those of you that are interested in more intuitive skills and flexing your intuitive muscles, um, you can go to rlgrace.net 
and you can check out Clarity 101. Clarity 101 has all kinds of information about intuition, spirit guides, chakras, all kinds of fun stuff there. So you can check that out. Just click on the Clarity 101 tab. If you're interested in more, you can check out A Psychic Story. Um, and there's Haunted, there is Angels, and there is I'm Psychic Not Telepathic. And the fourth book is going to be the Goo and Cooties book. Yes, we'll be talking about Goo and Cooties and how to get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be very fun for you. The Go and Cooties book is going to be out uh, in um, for my birthday, November sixth. So that's when it will be published. Um, I'm still doing fifty dollar Fridays. June is the last month for fifty dollar Fridays. It's fifty dollars for forty five minutes intuitive readings. So remember to email me at a gang of girls inc at gmail .com and we'll book you in. Okay, for those of you that are interested in astrology, you can check out Rockin' Reverend Rhonda. Yeah, you can go to karmiclaw.com. Remember to sign up for her newsletter. She sends out a really good monthly newsletter to people, let you know what's going on, you know, astrology speaking. So, um, also for those of you, you have asked me for a medical intuitive. There's a really nice lady. Her name is Marcella Zinner. She's a very good me medical intuitive. She's been specifically trained for that. You can check her out at MarcellaZ.com. For those of you who are looking to connect with loved ones who have passed away, check out my bro at PsychicTheo.com. All right. So the automatic writing. With automatic writing, um... I was also able to um, learn how to trans channel and it took me a long time to, to actually trans channel uh, only because I wanted to make sure and know who I was trans channeling. Okay, so um, I do have a crew that I do trans channel and they are the Archaea, the divine complements of the Archangels. Archaea Hope is one and Archaea Faith is the other. If you read Angels of Psychic Story, you'll be able to see the different angels that I do channel and their messages for mankind. Um, I also channel a wonderful being. His name is Lord Melchizedek. I am ordained under the order of Melchizedek, and he is awesome. He assists me a lot with um, teaching and writing, so he is awesome. Um, the other two... Uh, Ascended Masters that I channel a lot are Mother Mary and Mary of Magdala. And those two are pretty awesome too. So it took me a while to learn how to trans channel. And the automatic writing meditation assisted me with that. Getting to know them and getting to know their energies. So that I would know myself that these are high frequency beings. And they're giving me awesome messages. And they're assisting me in so many different ways. So, as I said before, uh, the automatic writing meditation, what it's going to do is it's going to assist you tonight with connecting to one spirit guide or angel, because we're going to do one round, and that way you can see what it feels like, you know, how it feels to connect. Sometimes people get words, so write it down if you get some words. Um, if you don't get words, that's okay. It's the feeling that counts. It's the feeling that um, happens, you know, when you do connect. That is really important because then you know what your spirit guides and angels feel like. Right? Yeah. So during the meditation, um, there have been some people, what if, you know, what if this low frequency of being, like, wants to connect with me? Um this, the automatic writing meditation won't allow a low frequency being to try and connect with you. Um, if you have one in your energy field, it may push it out. So that would be awesome. That way you're not, you know, carrying around a low frequency being and ugh, it's energy. Ugh. Okay. Okay. So, um, 
Others have asked me about uh, the automatic writing meditation assisting with like going in and clearing houses. No, it really doesn't help you with going in and clearing houses. That's not the type of thing that it is. Um, if you're going to go in and clear houses, that's a whole different ball game altogether. And um, we can talk about that at a different time. Um, if you want to know more about clearing houses, um, you can read Haunted, A Psychic Story. There's a whole bunch of information there about clearing houses, keeping them clear, and maintaining your the energy of your home, okay? So that you can have some practical things to do because a lot of the stuff that I write about is practical. It's not um, way far out there and funky so that you don't understand it. Everybody can understand um, what I write about because I want people to understand it. I want people to be able to try it out and see if it resonates with them. Okay. Okay. So the automatic writing meditation, we're going to start. It is, um, the first part of it is a clearing meditation. So it's going to clear your energy field. And the second part is the actual meditation. And then we'll do like a grounding meditation coming back in. So it's going to take about 15 minutes or so. So get comfortable and um, take a nice deep breath. If you want the full meditation, it is at arielgrace.net um, under the meditation tab. And you can just scroll down and check it out. Okay? Okay. So if you are comfortable, hi Mike, take a nice deep breath. Take another deep breath. And on the exhale, you'll see a vortex form at your feet. And with each breath that you take, the vortex spins faster and faster, cleaning and clearing your energetic field. With each breath that you take, as the vortex spins faster, and faster. Hey, Mom. And with each breath that you take, the vortex moves up over your feet, your ankles, moving up over your calves, your knees, your thighs, spinning ever faster and faster with each breath that you take, cleaning and clearing your energetic field. And the vortex moves up over your hips, the core of your being, your shoulders, neck, and head. And the vortex keeps spinning spinning out all thoughts and ideas and energies that are no longer serving you, pushing them out of your energy field and out, out into the universe. Now, take a deep breath. And on the exhale, release the vortex. And take another deep breath. Breathe in your favorite color of the day, whatever color that may be. And breathe it in all the way down to the insides of your toes, filling each toe, your feet, your ankles, your calves, your knees, your thighs, allowing the color to invigorate you and refresh you as you breathe it in, filling your hips, the core of your being. Watch as the color cascades down your arms and into your fingertips, filling each finger, 
your thumbs, the palms of your hands, your wrists up to your elbows, shoulders, your neck, and your head. And you fill yourself up so much, you can see the color coming out. Your toenails and fingernails, your eyebrows and eyelashes, the pores of your skin, and the tips of your hair. Now, take a deep breath. And on the exhale, you will start to see a lapis ring form before you. And with each breath that you take, the lapis ring rotates, becomes a deeper, more brilliant lapis blue. And with each breath that you take, the lapis ring rotates and becomes more deeper, more brilliant, lapis blue. And it is only you, just you, within the ring. There are no other influences, only you. And with each breath that you take, the lapis ring rotates and becomes a more deeper, more brilliant lapis blue. And as the ring rotates, you start to see the golden vein of illumination move through the ring. And the gold vein is bright, brilliant, illuminating the ring as the lapis ring rotates with each breath that you take. And it is only you, just you, within the ring. This is what your energy feels like without any other influences, only you within the ring. Now, look outside your ring. You're going to see some beautiful colored orbs. Some may be one color, some may be different colors. And as you look at the orbs, you will find the one that you are most attracted to. The one that calls to you. Invite that orb within your ring. And as you invite it within your ring, you will start to feel its energy. You will start to maybe hear its name. You may ask the being of light, who are you? What is your name? And what is the message for my highest and greatest good today? And as you are sitting in the ring, connecting to this being of light, You may hear a message. You may hear a name. 
You will feel the energy. Allow yourself to connect to the being of light so that you may receive that information, that message that you so want and desire. And if you can, write the message down. Very good. When you are through with your message, remember to release the being of light from your ring. I release you. I thank you. Now it is only you, just you, within the ring. This is what your energy feels like without any other influences. And with each breath that you take, the lapis ring rotates. the gold vein of illumination moves through the ring, illuminating the ring. Now that you know what your energy feels like, you made a connection, take a deep breath and release the ring. Watch as the ring dissipates. And you come back into your body, feeling your feet, your ankles, your calves, feeling your knees, your thighs, your hips, the core of your being, your fingers, your palms of your hands, your wrists, your elbows, and your shoulders, your neck, and your head. And when you're ready, open your eyes. So, Getting back into your body is always a good thing. It's always good to be centered, balanced, and grounded. That is a great way, too, of being able to connect to your higher self, your spirit guides, and your angels. So when you're out and about during the day, too, remember that. You know, if you feel yourself not being present and not being grounded and centered, <laughs> then make sure to take that breath and start feeling your feet. Go outside, walk around in the grass or the ground barefoot. That helps to get you grounded and in your body. 
does. So you can practice the automatic writing meditation. As I said, you can go to arielgrace.net and um, click on the meditation tab. And you can, I think it's down the page. So scroll down the page, you'll see it. Um, the automatic writing meditation that I have on the website goes through two rounds. And um, there are other people that have done automatic writing where they, instead of writing a message, they will paint something. They'll do something artistic. And that is always really cool and beautiful to see, you know, because they're channeling that higher self or they're channeling those wondrous beings of light and they're creating something beautiful, awesome. Okay, so there's different ways of expressing the messages. So don't limit yourself if you feel like you need to pick up a paintbrush or if you feel like you need to uh, pick up your colored pencils or whatever it is that you use um, to create, then pick it up and start doing it because the message will flow through you. Trust it. Okay. Cause our spirit guides and angels are here to assist us. Remember this is a free will planet. Okay. <laughs> so for angels, you really have to ask their assistance. You have to ask for their assistance. Um, and they will, they'll assist you. Uh, they were created uh, the Creator created them as messengers for us, as helpers for us. So um, remember that always, that uh, ask for their assistance or their guidance or something. You never know what can happen. Crazy things in my life have happened because of them. And so, um, and I'm always grateful for them. Okay? So you can try out the automatic writing meditation and connect to your spirit guides and angels and see how that expression comes out. Don't remember not to limit it, okay? Because it's really awesome and it's really fun. And let your imagination move you. Let your intuition and the connection to your spirit guides and angels move you, okay? Because there's no wrong way to do it. Absolutely not. Yeah. All right. So uh, if you want to learn more about the automatic writing meditation or connecting to spirit guides and angels, you can go to arielgrace.net and click on the Clarity 101 blog. Um, or you can uh, order a Psychic Story series books. They're there under the author tab. You can check those out. The Goo and Cooties book will be out in November. And that is going to uh, help with getting rid of your Goo and Cooties. <laughs> so you can raise your resonance and, um, you know, get rid of those um, maybe people, energies, stuff that is no longer serving you so that you can make room for more in your life. Because really, that's what we're here to do. We're here to learn about ourselves, connect to ourselves, so that we can have the best life that we so want and desire. Yeah. And clearing out those goo and cooties, that helps. Believe me, I know. Yeah. All right. So those are what I'm going to review really quickly. A spirit guide can be someone that you've been related to that has passed through the veils. It can be a spirit that you have known in another lifetime. It can. Um, it can be an ascended master. A lot of us know what ascended masters are. Mother Mary's an ascended master. Jesus is an ascended master. Kuan Yin, um, Li Qing, Buddha, all these beings are ascended masters and there's so many more you can look up ascended masters uh, for years and probably never find all of them which is kind of cool so if you're looking for your spirit guides um, you may want to start with the ascended masters you may want to start with gods and goddesses you may want to start with those beings of light and see if you resonate with any of them and if you do resonate with them, find out about them. 
you know, as I say, I always say learn about your crew because that's your crew. It's a part of you. Okay? For angels, you know, there are as many angels as there are ascended masters. There are many archangels. They're not just the seven. There are more than the seven. So you can check them out as well and see how they resonate with you too. You know, because there's a lot of people right now on the planet working with Archangel Raphael with healing people and they're working on healing the planet and you may want to connect with Gaia. Gaia is awesome. There's a wonderful lady named Laura Bushnell and she actually channels Gaia and you can check her out at laurabushnell.com. You know, so there's a lot of trans channels here on the planet um, that can assist you. So make sure that that trans channel really resonates with you and their message is something that fills your heart and helps you raise up. Okay? So that way you know it's a true message from an ascended master or angel, spirit guide. Okay? Okay. All right. So, um, yeah. All right. So we're done for the week. Yay! <laughs> um, I have no idea what we're going to talk about next week on Sunday night. If you have some ideas, let me know because we can run with them and rock and roll with them and it'll be very fun for us. All right. You can check out a gang of girls.com for archived radio shows. I'm not going to start the radio show up again until the fall. Yeah, I am not. I got some books to write, and I just finished the third Lucy Prophet book. It should be done, or it should be up on Amazon by June 21st. So, if you want to check out Lucy Prophet's Psychic Girl, who wins the lottery, what does she do with that lottery? And what would you do if you won the lottery? Hmm? Bet you have some ideas. Well, she does too. So, this is our third book. And um, I'm done with it. It'll be up on Amazon June 21st. Uh, and then I'll be working on the next psychic storybook, uh, the Goo and Cooties book. Yeah. So it'll be very fun. I got lots of things to do. And I'll see you next week. Okay? This is Ariel Grace from A Gang of Girls Radio at agangofgirls.com and ariel.grace.net. Keep your hearts open and align with the energy of love. Have a wonderful week. Bye.